What's going on, y'all? This is your boy OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with yet another awesome Diecast review. And by awesome, I definitely mean awesome. This is actually one I think a lot of people were waiting for me to review on. And uh, my lord, man, we thought we were going to have just one of these things, but how about two? We might even have three pretty soon. But this is on yet another Rick Ware Racing Diecast I picked up from my good friends at Stroke Diecast. By the way, use the promo code OBBYT to get that free shipping because who doesn't love free shipping? As we're going to go and show this case right here, this is Garrett Smithley's. This is a first for this guy. Garrett Smithley's 2021 Rich Mar Forest slash Stroke B Diecast. Hey, how about that, guys? Um, sh uh, what was it? Chevrolet Camaro Z01 Elite for Rick Rare Racing. Yes, guys, this is the second Rick Rare car that we got released, and I believe we are going to be having one or two more. Um, but any guys enjoyed my JJ Ailey review? I'm sure you're going to be loving this. But I think the one thing that is right off the bats I love about this car is that pink. Holy shit! This pink, do I have to say it? It's quite hot. It is quite hot. Yeah, I'm not going to get sure code in any way, shape, or form. But anyways, let's go kick with this diecast review the official unboxing of the Rick Rare Racing car of Garrett Smithley's Rich Mar Flores car. And alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of the box, and man, I just cannot believe this. I couldn't believe that this diecast, this is yet another Rick Rare Racing diecast that I was not even expecting for it to get made. I mean, maybe it has something to do with Circle B probably buying some of these, because you guys see right there, we got the Circle B logo right there, and they're also on the freaking uh, hood of, of the car, so uh, maybe. But one thing I'm already noticing is a freaking paint chip, but don't worry, a Sharpie will fix that, so I can't be too worried about that. Just look at that front end, man. I, I really like the black outline on the front end, and kind of, I don't know, this is just a, it's just crazy, or just from a distance. I know it's a Chevy, and is that Chevy logo curved? What on earth? Yeah, it looks like that Chevy logo is kind of curved. I mean, did you guys see that shit right there? Look at that Chevy logo. That is curved. Holy Christ, Lionel. Really butchered on that one. But um, nice little zoom in right there. But um, I, before I got distracted right there, I do want to say that, I don't know, like with this black outline from a far distance, if you cover up that Chevrolet logo, it kind of looks like, uh, well, like a Dodge Charger or like what? Like a, it kind of looks like it, it kind of gives like the remedy of like a, like a Dodge, like what, like what's out on the street, like a Dodge Dart or, uh, or something like that. You know what I mean? But as you see right there, this paint scheme is pretty vibrant with, uh, I mean, on camera, it's coming off as a very hot pink and it does look nice. But in real life, guys, um, to be honest with you guys, when you shine this car in the light, I mean, the camera is very misleading. It's showing off like a hot pink, which looks really cool. But I don't know, this color is kind of weird. It kind of, kind of, the color is kind of changing, I guess, wherever you kind of go in the sunlight and stuff. But like indoors, man, uh, seeing in the naked eye, it's kind of like a magenta color. You know what I mean? It's like very magenta and like very, it's still pink. But it's not like this, you know, this hot pink that the camera's catching. I don't know why. I mean, um, it's kind of like how, you know, the Menard Jello is. And we got ourselves yet another big-ass paint chip. Uh, oh, I thought that was a paint chip right there. Oh, gee whiz, don't I feel stupid? That's just a freaking rose. Goodness gracious, Brian. You actually got something that kind of fooled you right there. I thought that was a freaking paint chip. That's just, you know, a picture of the freaking uh, flower or the rose or, I don't know. I, I'm not a florist, so I don't know my shit. Uh, Rich Mar Florist Racing. Um, but we do got some decal placement issues right there. You see part of the... Uh, um, goodness gracious, Brian, for a second, I thought, uh, this was, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the, the ganja, you know what I mean? Uh, when I first saw this, I was like, wait a minute, is this, uh, this ain't a three G car? Like, well, what the hell is, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the devil's lettuce or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you know, I'm trying my best not to say it, but you probably know what I'm talking about. Weed. All right. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but now nah, that's just, uh, that's just, I guess like flowers, but I don't know why they decided making green, but it does look pretty cool. Uh, it does look really cool with the green. Um, it really kind of gives this car some vibrancy. I mean, even though it's already vibrant enough with this, uh, I, again, I don't know why the camera is making this like a hot pink, but it's, uh, it, it's not really hot pink, but it does look cool, but it, it's like a magenta color guys. I mean, I, I really, I don't know why cameras do this, man. I mean, uh, <laughs> I probably should ask my good buddy racing 2011 cause he's more familiar with cameras, but holy christ man a garrett smithley 164 i could not believe dude I, I i literally can't believe we have this i i i definitely have a feeling that this is going to be another one of these cars that's just going to be just so obscure going down the road and people are going to have this car i highly recommend picking this car up as soon as you can i think it was one of the first die casts i ordered um when this die cast uh hit the shelves i was like this is gonna sell out i'm gonna get it because you know when was the only time, this is the only time I think we ever had a Rick Ray Racing diecast with Garrett Smithley. And, you know, after a, kind of what happened, uh, and, uh, unfortunately, Garrett Smithley's kind of like, 
He's all, mostly well known for um, not really much going on, but after what happened at the Las Vegas playoff race, uh, you know, with him getting into uh, Kyle Busch in, 20, in the 2019 playoff race, yeah, I mean, um, where Kyle Busch had that nice little snarky comment about, you know, you know, ins- uh, his premium insurances are going to his, his uh his premium insurance were going to be going up. I mean, yeah, <laughs> he kind of called out Garrett Smithley, which can't blame him because you know, um, you know, I mean, heck, you know, Garrett Smithley's a back barker man, so you know, Kyle Busch, and you know, when you don't go his way, and you know that kind of stuff happens, you know, you're going to have a bad time. But I know a lot of Kyle Busch fans are not happy about that. But you know, I should, I, you guys shouldn't really complain because after all, you guys uh, were able to win the championship in 2019. So yeah. <laughs> But let me tell you what, man. I love the Rick Rear Racing font. I don't know. Some people might not like it, but just it's just cool seeing yet another different number made in the 164 scale. I mean, you definitely. I, I feel like stop motion makers out there, um, including including uh, my good buddy uh, Dyke Fafe, who does you know the Dirt Last Cup series. This is definitely another great car. I think that's going to definitely fill the field um, just because, you know, we, I don't think we've ever had a number 53 car ever and, um, in, in die cast form as far as I know. Um, maybe it's been a while, but I don't know. I, I definitely do not remember that one bit. But I believe Garrett Smithley drove this car, I believe, for what is it? Uh, he I believe I saw this car at Dover, actually, now that I think about it because I did saw this. I was like, uh, I, I saw that nice uh, purple pink, um, you know, I'm just going to call it purple pink uh, or magenta, whatever. Um, I didn't go to art school, so I don't know what my colors are. Uh, <laughs> that's black and this is green, but uh, I believe that's white. Um, yeah, congratulations, Brian. You now know what colors are. Um what was that? I think also he drove this at both Pocono races, but, um, you know, it's a Rick Ray racing diecast, so I'm assuming it didn't really finish too well. I mean, um, yeah, as far as I know. But, um, you know, it's just one of these diecasts that just you don't know. And look at it. It's got a working suspension, too. Look at that. Look at that right there. And I just love that new feature that Lionel now has with these diecasts, a working suspension. And it's just me. Is that Chevy logo on the B post looks kind of squished up. Uh, that's a nice uh, little interesting zoom right there. Yeah, that Chevy logo looks very squished up compared to... Uh, Oh, that side looks like it's touching the other. But just look at the detail, man. I just love the detail on this, man. Um, but definitely would highly recommend picking this diecast up because just, uh, like I said, man, it's just such an obscure car, but it's going to dry up, I think, like later down the road because, you know, people are going to be like, whoa, I haven't seen this guy or this driver yet. Uh, heck, I'm going to get this. Definitely would highly recommend picking this up. Uh, like the Yaley car already dried up. I got a feeling this will dry up too. I believe we are going to be getting, uh, we do have another Rick Ray Racing diecast that's out now with Wave 11, the uh, Joey Gaze DV Allison uh, tribute. So, man, it's been just a great year with Rick Ray Racing diecast. And of course, and of course, we also do got the Romain Grosjean 164 from 2021. Um, so, my lord, man, Rick Ray Racing has absolutely done a fantastic job with some of the paint schemes and getting them a diecast form. That just shows you the amount of progression we are making in uh, the pre ordering system for Lionel. Um, um, so just that just shows you just how important pre-ordering is. I mean, I know I wasn't a big fan of it at first, but heck, there's a reason why we have stuff like this. And my lord, I'm gonna need some sharpie on this because look at that pink outline. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't think that's supposed to be there as far as I know. But yeah, I mean, I'm I apologize that this review is gonna be a lot more shorter than usual, but I don't want to continue rambling on and be like, all right, what should I talk about this car? Uh there's weeds on the car. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review. Post your comments down below what else you guys want to say about this car. As this is gonna wrap up the diecast review of Garrett Smithley uh, Smithley's. Holy Christ, I don't even know what Smith is. Uh like the Smithfield. <laughs> uh, but this has been the diecast review of Garrett Smithley's 2020. 21 Rich Mar Flores Chevrolet Camaro Z01 10E4 uh, Rick Ray Racing Cal My Scribe and once again shout Circle B Diecast who's also in this uh, uh, who's also on this review as well uh, with the promo code OBBYT to get their free shipping always a pleasure to have them on board with these reviews um, but yeah this has been OBB see you guys next time on another Diecast review and yeah I'll see you guys on the next uh, reviewing station. <laughs>